Does anyone have any strange stories that's happened to them? Does anyone have anything to tell? Well, our stories aren't really about us mostly, but my students who are here have some strange stories. So who wants to start first? Um, by the way, I have posted these stories on my board. So oh, if students want to follow cool. along, they can see the stories here. Um, Christine, you haven't gotten a chance to see this yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then what I'll do is I will read another student's story who can't come today. Okay? All right. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to start with Eric's story. Joseph knows Eric. Um, he wrote a space story, and it's, it's a little silly, but quite strange also. Okay, so um, I'm going to try to share the screen so you can all see too. So can you guys see an orange alien? Tell me when you see the orange oh, yeah. alien. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Look at this amazing alien. Yeah. Eric drew this um, to help me describe his alien or to help think about his alien, really. Okay. So um, here's Eric's strange story. Can you guys read the writing? Is it too small? No. It's okay. okay. Good. It's All right. Once there was a strange place inside a black hole. Inside the black hole, there was a secret hidden red planet. The lucky space travelers who went into the black hole were pulled onto the planet and could breathe. Not the unlucky ones. <laughs> Only one thing was alive on the planet. A little alien about the size of a dog and about the shape of orange grapes. <laughs> yeah. Hey. One day, three space travelers came to the planet. They were so hungry, so they hunted the alien and they ate him for brunch. They ate the whole alien, but they were hungry again, so they drank the water from the planet. They sat down and rubbed their bellies and said, I am very full. Three seconds later, they heard thunder, and then, boom! They saw the alien one last time before they exploded. The end. Oh my goodness! That is a very imaginative story. I thought so too. Yeah, he did a good job. I wish he could have shared it himself. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. He needs a little help. Okay. So go ahead and start reading when you're ready. Okay. Once there was a strange place deep in the jungle. In this place, everyone was perfectly beautiful. All of the men and women looked like K-popsters and actors. The place was a jungle city with beautiful apartments and tigers for pets. The smell of this place was very good because of many jungle flowers. One day, Ben Masters came and took all children. In South Sai, heard about the bad thing that happened. In only one minute, Super Sai ran all the way to the jungle city in America. He showed Gangnam Style to the scary monsters. It's Gangnam Style time. <laughs> That's it. That's a lot of okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Funny story. I like it. 
Yeah, I tried to get the music on the perfect time. I was a little late, but I thought you did a full job reading. Yeah. So why didn't everyone else dance, huh? You were just doing such a good job of it. We just were enjoying, enjoying the performance. Okay. All right. Great. Um, so who's ready now? Julie, do you want to share yours? Uh, uh, you feel a little shy? What about Joseph? How about you? No, no. You're not ready yet? Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I love that. I could share. We have sure. a lot of extra time. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Isn't this like killing somebody? Is what like killing somebody? Oh, well, it's about ghosts. Ghosts? Um, yeah. Like about... Halloween story. Like what? Like Halloween story. Yeah, like, Halloween. like a Halloween story, exactly. Um, it's about seeing ghosts in a scary house. I think hers is the most scary. Yeah. Um, oh, I have a great one. I can't believe he's not here, actually. Um, but it's a little long. So, Julie, can you please read yours first? I know you're shy. Yeah, I want to hear it too. It's so good. Um, should uh, I share the screen? Did that work okay? Yeah. Okay. Can you read this? Uh, was uh, one there was a strange Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, can you see it now? Uh, okay. There was a strange magic place made of cloud. It was in a light blue sky. It smelled a little sweet like flower. There are many trees and made of green and brown cloud and 50 pretty color birds. They had a swimming pool of rain water. One day the birds are playing a flying game and the red bird said to the orange bird, I am better than you. And the orange bird said, no, I am better than you. They had to have a contest to know who was best. The first bird was red, the second bird was orange, the third bird was yellow, the fourth bird was green, the fifth bird was blue, and the sixth bird Six. uh, six, four, was purple. When the contest finished, every bird was together at the finish line. All the birds won. Everybody was happy. The red and orange birds said, we are both good fly flyers. Then the birds looked over at the red place and saw beautiful color in the sky. It was wonderful. They made the first rainbow. Very good. What a lovely story. It's very nice, isn't it? Um, I liked how I asked you all to do strange stories, but I think they're all kind of strange in different ways. Mm hmm Definitely. Yeah. So that's a nice one. Um, and that's not a scary, strange story at all, which is nice. No monsters. Nothing like that. What about you, Nicola? Do you have any strange stories? Well, I don't have anything nearly as imaginative as that. <laughs> Those were just amazing. But I did read in the news today that Sai apparently went to England 
and he got some pictures taken with some famous people. And then it turns out that it was a fake. It wasn't the real Sai. Wow. So was okay, it just some the famous Korean guy going around yeah. having a great time? Yeah. All the famous people in England thought they were getting their picture taken with Sai, but it wasn't him. That is funny. That's a little strange. Yeah. That's a little strange. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a good idea to have a free vacation, though. Definitely got free, <laughs> free drinks and free food. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's great. Um, should I share another story? Will you be brave and do yours next if I read one more, Joseph? Just I will do it. You're ready? Oh, okay, great. Even better. Oh. <laughs> do you need to see your picture um, or your writing? It's all right. I, 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 You've got I, it? Yes. Okay. In the year 6013, the sun was about to explode. A few small groups of people were fighting of a two live on the dying planet. They were like cavemen and had lost almost all their technology. Other planets in the solar system started to collapse. The people were worried. They were afraid. Using the best scientists, the people made a machine that and push and kill anything. They knew aliens were coming to slay them and for weird science like making strange monsters. They had a big battle. It was bloody and many, 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 many people died soon. It was only one human. The aliens took him into space and no one was ever seen again. The, the end. <sighs> Good. Oops. Very straight. So we, we don't often have a story where in the end everybody is gone. Wow. Strange ending, right? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that you was You guys awesome. have done so well. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for sharing, everybody. I think you yeah, all did well a great done. job reading. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Ian, uh, he saw we're talking today about the woman who swallowed the fly. Would you like to tell them? Can you hear me? Yes. Do you want, do you want me to tell them, or do you think you can manage? You know this story so well. So it's your there favorite. Was a fly coming around and the woman just <laughs> swallowed it. She ate the does fly. Anybody know, does anybody know the, the nursery rhyme? The woman who swallowed a fly. Oh, I no. don't know why. Oh, Perhaps no. she'll die. Oh no. I hope she doesn't die. Do you want to see the video? It goes with a really good video. Okay. I think we need to see the video. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> right, I'll just get it for us. So, um, I was thinking that we could play a different game after this, and I wanted to see what you guys like. I thought we could play a game where we all say one sentence and we go oh, around that would be fun. and we build a strange story because we all add our parts. Or okay. we could do something more like, um, like strange acting and we could try to guess what people are doing. Like if I did this. So everybody who's comfortable with using their keyboard. I want you to try to help with this. If you can't use your keyboard and write, you can just talk your sentence, speak it to us, okay? 
All right. So I'm going to start. Once there was a lonely alien. Okay, does anyone want to describe the alien? Maybe what he looks like. Ugly. Ugly! An ugly alien. Yeah, usually aliens are a little ugly. Christine, thank you. I see you're typing. <laughs> I encourage everyone to type. Yeah, okay, good. Joseph. Oh, and yes. A alien as well. <laughs> okay, I think we may want to change look to um, look, but um, otherwise, great. Um, alien is look like an ugly alien and bad alien, yeah. and he liked it animals. Ooh, <laughs> sounds kind of scary. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if he's a, if he likes to eat animals, what can we guess about his teeth? Joseph, can you make a sentence about his teeth? Are they big? Are they long? They are very long. <laughs> okay, thanks, Christy. So he, we've got an alien. He's ugly. He's big. He likes to eat other animals. Um, what is his planet like? What are the animals he's eating? Um. What does he like best? Uh, dog. Oh no, he likes dog the best. Oh, that's sad. Poor dogs. <laughs> How about rabbit? Yeah, that's sad. Okay, we'll put both. Dogs and rabbits. Both rabbit nice and hamster. <laughs> okay. Julie, do you have any ideas about the alien planet? <coughs> What color is it? What's the place he lives on like? What color is it? Does it have red mountains? Does it have a purple sea? What does it look like? Alien lived in a place with dot dot dot. Who wants to add to that? Anybody? I know you guys are great at describing. Nicola, maybe you have an idea. What's this place like? Well, I think it must be quite crazy. Maybe there's three different suns. Ooh, nice. I like it. Does that mean it's always daytime? Yeah, always think? daytime. Always hot. It's a very hot planet. Oh gosh. Oh, have cold, have hot. The what? Have cold and have hot. Oh, so some parts were cold and some parts were hot. Maybe the sun only stays on one side, so it's got one cold side and one hot side. Yes. Mm hmm. So where does this alien live? Does he live on the hot side or the cold side? Uh, both. Both. Okay. So one day, I think we need something exciting to happen now. Maybe the dogs and the rabbits decided they're tired of being eaten. Kill the alien. Yeah, I think maybe the dogs and the rabbits want to get together. So I'll make that my sentence. And you guys can think about how they would fight. One day, the rabbits and dogs said they did not want the alien to eat them anymore. So... Joseph, how would dogs and rabbits fight? I don't know. Are they super smart? What do you think? Uh, bite. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bite. <laughs> so maybe, wh who would bite? The rabbits or the dogs? Uh, both dogs. <laughs> yeah, I think rabbits do have some big teeth, but 
they're not really great for biting, so they probably would be <laughs> having more work with that. You know, like Alaska dog. Alaska. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they look like wolves, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that's the kind of dog. Dog came in and wolf came in, too. <laughs> Okay, the wolves came to help. Yes. An animal revolution. Yeah, it is an animal revolution. And um, every animal is come to that. Oh, they all get together to fight back yeah, against all the animals. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. So how long does it take to win against the alien? Was it very short? It's a lot of animals, animals helping. Um... 20 years. <laughs> okay, a long fight. I see. Very long. <laughs> In 20 years, or after 20 years, they finally beat the alien. And then what? What was the planet like after that? Was it perfect place? Was it full of love and happiness? Um, Alien is a little surprised, so he doesn't want to eat animals, and oh. he go to so his maybe he house. Decides, okay, oh. so he decides not to eat meat anymore. He's a vegetarian. <laughs> Turns into a vegetarian. Amazing. Okay, <laughs> great. A vegetarian. That's a good twist in the story. <laughs> okay, great. He decided to become a vegetarian. Nice ending, guys. Very strange. I like yeah, that. very strange. Um, I'll also put this all together and post it on my board with the other stories if you guys want to. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. So this is the site for that board if you want it later. Okay. I think we have to go, guys. Yeah, well done, everyone. That was very strange party. <laughs> really. And thank everyone who read their stories. Really good job. Well done. Yeah, nice work. So, um, we'll be seeing you all very soon. Um, enjoy the rest of May. Yay! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.